Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are going to be reading a backrooms level called Mind Palace. This is another unleveled level and unnumbered level. And this time it's not a phenomenon. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Mind Palace. Survival difficulty NA. Non existent. Devoid of, of matter. Unfit for light. The Mind Palace is an unnumbered level of the backrooms, located only in the, a mindscape. It supposedly exists in the mind of each being inside of the backrooms, and it is relative to each being going inside it. The mind power Alice is a level that lacks a physical form, instead it is anchored inside the mind of every sentient being that remains from the back rooms. It remains unknown if un unintelligent entities like the parasitic paint can access this level or not. I have not heard of the parasitic paint, let me just... I have a feeling we'll run into it. <laughs> Just have to remember to actually click on that in the future. Only minds can enter the mind palace. The visitors' bodies will be left in a comatose state in the level they entered from, for as long as the mind palace is within the uh, for as long as the mind is within the level. This level can prove useful to wanderers as a storage place for information. And with proper training, it can be used as an escape from harmful events, such as torture. In extreme cases, this level might also be used on, while on the field to perform surgery when anesthesia is not readily available. Due to the nature of the Mind Palace, each subject will have their own mental image of the level. The level will then replicate this mental image. As such, subjects can manipulate the mind palace simply by matching it a bit differently. Objects may be created, destroyed, or otherwise interacted with. It is currently unknown if there is only one mind palace, or if there is one for each mind. The funny thing is, when I think of a mind palace, I would probably imagine it being a literal palace or a castle. The Mind Palace always abides by these rules. The visitor must have a mental image of the level to be able to enter it. Only elements known by the visitor can be created. For example, creating a book without having read it beforehand will make all the pages be blank. Focus is required to enter this level. Without proper training, it will be difficult to do so, especially under emotional stress. No objects can be taken out of this out of the level. Since the level must be consistently imagined by being inside it, staying inside the mind palace has proven to be tiresome, and it may easily cause headaches. It's advised to not stay more than half an hour inside this level, and that you make sure your body will be safe during your time in the mind palace. Danger while using this level it seems quite safe and useful, it is not entirely devoid of danger. You will be in, alone inside your mind palace, but that doesn't ent prevent you from creating entities. They will behave as you believe them to, which may or may not correspond to the entity's actual behavior. Someone who is uh, killed inside a mind palace will not return to their body. It will be left in a, comatose, in a comatose state. It's unknown what happens to the mind of the body that's killed. It might simply disappear or continue to exist on its own, stuck inside the mind palace. It's also possible to get stuck inside the mind palace. It most frequently occurs when entering the level right after being subjected to a traumatic event. History. The Mind Palace, also called Method of Losi, 
It's a mental technique used to help recall information. It was created by the ancient Romans and the Greeks, and it is still used to this day in the front rooms by all sorts of people to help memorize information. This method consists of imagining a place and linking different rooms with ideas, texts, or objects to help remember them. I've actually... I think I've heard of people will talk about it, and I didn't know people actually did that. Maybe I'm just different. Anyway, basis, outposts, and communities. Due to its nature, it's impossible to make an outpost inside this level. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Entering the mine palace might be difficult the first few times, but with practice, it can be done in the blink of an eye. You need to visualize the place you want to be in. It might be easier to close your eyes and focus on some place familiar, comfortable, and where you feel safe. My bedroom. Literally, that's my favorite place to be. Once you're having in, in your mind and palace in mind, use a trigger to let your mind slide into it. The trigger can be anything you want from snapping your fingers to saying something like go. Anything you feel comfortable with works. Exits. Similar, similarly to entering, exiting the level can be done by focusing on a trigger and using it to slip. Again, this trigger can be anything from you want from closing your eyes, opening them again, or walking through a specific door in the mind palace. I literally just read about a mind palace. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!